people of Virginia, I stand before you a man condemned by men. I stand before you a man convicted and condemned by your court, not by God, and not for the crimes of treason and murder, but for interference. My crime was that I interfered with that institution so cherished by you, which is itself the greatest of all crimes, a crime against God, a crime against humanity itself, that sum of all villainies, slavery. I dared to act up to the instruction of God, that I should remember them that are in bonds as bound with them. I dared to attempt to bring out of the darkness of slavery and into the light of freedom men, women, and children held against their will in cruel and fraudulent bondage. They are my brothers and sisters. They are children of God, no less in the eyes of God than any one of you, no less in his eyes than the richest, strongest, and most powerful among you. In their behalf, I go willingly and gladly into my day of reckoning. You may dispose of me quite easily and quickly. I am nearly disposed of now. But you, you people of the South, at best prepare yourselves for a settlement of this question, this question of slavery. The end of that is not yet. The evil it has wrought will reverberate through the ages. And your day of reckoning is yet to come. As our Lord God teaches us in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, and almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without shedding of blood is no remission. I, John Brown, am now quite certain that the crimes of this guilty land will never be purged away but with blood. I had, as I now think, vainly flattered myself, believing that I could set in motion the destruction of slavery with very little bloodshed. I see now that I was wrong. Nonetheless, slavery will end. The oppressed shall be free.